Boulder police don't interrogate the Ramseys, but they remain the main suspects. Many people found the Ramseys' behavior peculiar, suspicious, weird, off balance. And from that thought, they must be guilty. When you realized that you two were the prime suspects, what did you think? What did you feel? What did you say? Well, we were outraged. We were, we were shocked. How could they think that? We were a normal family. I what? just didn't believe it. You just can't believe it. I mean, you were suffering from having lost our child. And then for someone to accuse you, it's just, you can't believe that that would happen. A lot of people said, you know, if that were me, I'd be on the steps of the police department finding the murderer of my daughter. Then they go on CNN and say they didn't do it. If anyone knows anything, please, please help us. We've sensed from our friends that uh, this tragedy has touched not just ourselves uh, and our friends, but many people. As a mother, my heart went out to this couple. And if I were a resident of Boulder, I would tell my friends to keep, keep your babies close to you. There's someone out there. But my journalistic brain said to me, this isn't right. They should be talking to the police, not the public. Police end their 10-day search of the Ramsey house and remove the crime scene tape. It is unknown if the family intends to resume residency at the home. We have no comment on the whereabouts of the family at this time. Starting from the beginning of this case, we, the media, lapped up what the Boulder Police Department wanted to tell us about what they were doing in the John Bonet Ramsey case. For the most part, the police were very tight-lipped in this thing. They didn't tell us a lot of secrets. They didn't leak a lot of information. Other than broadly, we think the mom did it. People who believe Patsy killed their daughter believe it was over bedwetting and then staged to look like an intruder. The bedwetting theory was a big theory at the time. The bedwetting theory suggests that Patsy was angry with John Bonet and killed her because the bed was wet. I'm a cancer survivor of stage four cancer. When you are standing on the brink of death with a terminal illness, your priorities suddenly line up. Bedwetting is totally insignificant. I love my children. I wouldn't harm them for anything in the world. But Americans were fascinated with the possibility that the Ramses might have done this. What happened in that house? Did she go berserk and hurt Jean Benet? You know, by accident, not on purpose, certainly. Did Burke? hurt her by mistake and cause her death. It was leaked by Boulder police that it was possible that Burke Ramsey's voice was on the 911 call that Patsy had made. Patsy? Patsy? The 911 operator believed that she heard an unexplained voice at the end of the 911 call. Patsy Ramsey has put the phone down, but she hasn't hung it up. And the 911 recording continues. I heard her say, OK, I've called the police, now what? And I thought, huh. And then I heard two people talking to her. And I heard a male voice respond. And then I heard a more faint voice respond. Some speculated at the time that faint voice might have been Burke, but the family denied it, saying he was asleep at the time. We asked an expert to weigh in on the call. My name is Ed Primo. I'm an audio video forensic expert. And I was asked about what people have heard throughout the years from this 911 call. Here we go. What's your name? Are you not your Oh my God. So when Patsy is speaking to the operator, we could clearly see bright yellow and orange colors. And as I zoom in to the recording here, I can see the formants. This is a visual representation of sound. The brighter the color, the louder the volume. The sound changes right here. 
the section in question where people are hearing voices. We can see some sounds, but we don't see the formants like we saw over here. So I can't rely on those being words. There's just not enough signal to noise ratio in order to be able to perceive what those sounds are. They could be noise and they could be voices. I just can't, as a scientist, arrive at a reasonable conclusion the Secret Service and the FBI also concluded that no additional conversation is audible. I think we've given way too much weight on whether or not Burke Ramsey was present when mom makes the 911 call. If Burke's voice was there or John Ramsey's voice is there, does that mean they're the killer? And it's important to remember that the Boulder police never considered Burke a suspect. They suspected the parents, even though the Ramseys had no history of abuse or neglect of their children. All the evidence shows me that up until this point, they were devoted parents. Would you get up in the middle of the night and slaughter your child? We're parents. We love our children. There's so many puzzle pieces here that just don't fit. Do you really think your daughter's murderer will be found? Yes, I do, because the killer has never been pursued. An objective, wide investigation hasn't taken place. The parents have been focused on That's all that's been done. It might be an unknown entity then, not one of the suspects we've all been currently talking about oh, and dissecting. I don't think it's any of the suspects we're talking about. What we know is that just within a few mile radius of the Ramsey's home, there was approximately 38 to 40 sex offenders in that area. And the question is, have they all been completely vetted? Was it an accident? Was it intentional, premeditated? I want to say something to the person or persons that took this baby from us. The list of suspects narrows. Soon, there will be no one on the list but you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.